Hey, it's Drake. Uh, I have a great workout for you today. We're gonna go ahead and get started and we're gonna start with a dynamic warm up. So for our first exercise, we're gonna start with infant squats. Let's go ahead and pump out 10 together. We're gonna put our feet hip width apart. We're gonna come down, we're gonna reach our backs and it's gonna be nice and flat. We're gonna reach down with our hands for our toes. That way we can get a nice stretch in the hamstring. Then we're also gonna bring Tuck our glutes right under here. We're gonna try and spread our legs apart so we can get an inner thigh stretch. Then the arms are gonna come straight up for the ceiling. Try and keep our spine as neutral as possible and we're gonna reach up. So we're gonna continue with that same motion. Let's go again. Down, here, stretch, reach up nice and high and then bring it up. Helps open up the chest, get everything nice and loose. Feel your whole body nice and get warm. So we'll reach again, that's three. Let's keep going for that stretch. Try and go a little bit deeper. Get your chest up a little bit higher with each one. That's four. Keep reaching, stretch, that's five. And six. And then try and keep that spine nice and neutral. Keep the abs tucked nice and tight. Seven. Eight, two more. Nine, one more. Ten, perfect. So you already start to feel a little warm. Our next one is gonna be side lunges. So we're actually gonna take our legs just a little bit wider apart and we're gonna to lean to each side. Hands out in front. We're gonna come out to the side, lean nice and deep. We're gonna press using our glutes and then press right to the other side. So from each direction, let's go. Squeeze nice and tight with the glutes. Extend, remember, Try and keep one leg straight, bend into the other one. Leaning our weight to each side. Stick with me for a few more. Deep press, squeeze, nice and strong with the glutes. Abs tight. Perfect. All right, next one. We're gonna do reverse lunges, and we're also gonna stretch out the hip flexor with it. So, with the reverse lunge, we're gonna have both our feet together. We're gonna step backward on one leg and then we're gonna reach for the sky and then tilt away from the leg that is in the reverse position. So we're gonna reverse lunge. When we're down, the arms are coming up nice and high and we're gonna tilt. You'll feel that stretch come all the way down through the hip flexor this way. So just like that. We're gonna alternate to the other side and reach. Get a good stretch in the hip flexor. So back down, same thing. And reach. And back down and reach for each one. Start to feel those quads, nice and warm. And reach, ah, perfect. Stick with me for a few more. Ah, and reach. There we go, go nice and deep. Try and get that knee down to the ground, just a few inches from it, but don't touch the ground. Back up, and perfect. So for the last one, we're gonna stretch out the hamstrings one more time, and also the hips again. So we're gonna do Frankensteins in position. We're gonna start with our right leg, it's coming forward, and we're gonna reach for our foot just like that right out in front of us. Try and keep the chest up nice and tall and to each side. So remember, it's gonna angle contralateral. So this way and that way. So stick with me. Let's do a few more. Yeah. Keep chest up. Remember, we wanna feel it opening up the hip and also loosening that hamstring for us. Been sitting down all day. Let's get up, let's move. Get that hamstring working. Stick with me. A few more. Body should feel warm now. Ah, perfect. Last two. There we go. So that's our warm up. Now what we're gonna do is start our circuit. So for the circuit, what we're gonna need, I have a mat on the floor here and then also uh, my resistance band. Um, resistance band, Super easy to find. Any sporting goods store will carry them. And they go by different color, and that's also the resistance or the weight that you'll have for each band. Um, this one actually has handles that attach. Some of them have different attachments. But for this one, we're actually gonna start with a single arm lawnmower. We're gonna do it for 30 seconds. Now, what I'm gonna have you do, we'll lie it on the floor just like this. Where you place your foot is gonna dictate what actually the resistance is gonna be for yours, so you'll have to adjust it accordingly for you. 
But what we'll do is whatever arm you're gonna be pulling with, we're gonna use the opposite leg to hold the band down. So my leg is here. If I have the resistance that I want, holding the handle, I'm gonna lean on my elbow right on the knee here, and I'm gonna lift up just like this. So you'll let it come down nice and easy. We're gonna lift to the top and we're gonna hold for a lap pull there, okay? So just like if you were starting a lot more, easy. So let's do it for 30 seconds, you ready? Let's start on this one side here. So we're gonna pull just like that, nice and easy. Nice and slow pace. Really, really feel that right there. Feel your back working, feel the bicep squeeze as you come up at the top and hold it. Imagine that your shoulder blade is trying to squeeze on the spine. So just pull back and hold just like that. And remember, nice and slow pace. If you feel like it's too easy, speed it up, tighten the band. And perfect, that's 30 seconds. So now we're gonna go to the other side. So, here we go, land the band again. Opposite foot, arm here. And again, find the resistance that works for you. I'm gonna adjust it here, and we're starting 30 seconds again. Let's go. like that. Hold it up nice and tight, squeeze with the back, a little lat work. My biceps are feeling pumped. Remember you can always adjust the speed. You can go a little bit faster or slower tempo, whatever works for you. Perfect. And that's 30 seconds. So, after the lawnmower, we're gonna to switch to lower body. So what we're gonna do is a single leg squat. With this, we're actually gonna take the band, we're gonna fold it in half, and we're gonna place it on the ground. I'm gonna step right on both of them. So I'm holding both handles in my hand. I'm gonna bring it up to a hip position here and hold it nice and tight up on the hip bone there. This other leg is gonna come back. That's what I'm gonna use for balance because I'm only using one leg. So we're coming down. And you feel the resistance, you just squeeze all the way up, use the quad, and you should feel this really great in your glute. All right, so we're gonna stand up nice and tall, and we're ready for 30 seconds on our right leg. So let's go. Back, squeeze all the way up. Down, just let your toe tap, don't sit on it. So we're gonna come up and squeeze. Perfect. So for 30 seconds, remember once again, do the tempo that works for you. Feel your quad burn. Remember, keep the chest up, abs tight. Pull the belly button in toward the spine. That's how we hold our abs tight. Good. That was 30 seconds. We're gonna switch to the other leg. So same thing, hold it in half. Find the resistance that works for you. And we're gonna hold it in the hip again. All right, so same thing. Let's go, our left leg. We're trying to do is get our glute all the way down to the knee if we can. So make sure we're going nice and deep so you can really feel the activation. Remember, chest up, nice steady breathing, good tempo. And 30 seconds, perfect. So for our next one, we'll work the core, a little bit of chest, shoulders. So what we're gonna do is a plank up down motion. So I have my mat here that I'm gonna use. What we're gonna do, set ourselves up just like in a plank and we're gonna do it for our intervals. So we're gonna hold it for about five seconds, then move the position. So we'll start on our elbows. Remember our spine is gonna be nice and neutral and flat all the way to our feet. Feet together, hold it nice and tight. And we'll start the time and we're gonna press up onto our hand. So you'll press up on the right side, we'll come back down on the right side, and then we'll alternate to the other. So you come up on the left, and then you'll come down on the left, just like this. But the whole time, we want to try and hold our hips as steady as possible when we're doing it, okay? So let's go ahead and start in 30 seconds. Position. So that was the right. Now I'm gonna come up on the left. Hold. 
Danke. So, push should be barring now. Our next one we're gonna do is gonna be a band reverse squat. So, we're gonna take our band. What we're gonna do is step both feet onto it. Spread your feet about hip distance apart. Now we're gonna crisscross the band to each hand this way. So now I'm in a comfortable position. I'm gonna bend my knees and lean slightly forward. While I'm leaning forward, I'm gonna come straight back with the band this way. So, we'll let it come down slowly and then lift. Whole time, keep the chest up. Don't be afraid to stick your butt out. Keep your spine nice and flat. Okay, so let's activate the core. Let's do this. 30 seconds. And lift. Hold, back down. Remember, nice, slow tempo. We're feeling this in the back of the shoulders. We're drawing our shoulder blades back and together. Activate the scapula. This is a great movement for posture. Anybody who tends to lean over a lot at desks all day, this is how we get it. Nice strong muscles that'll help to hold our shoulders back. All the way back up, stick with me for a few more seconds. Ah, there we go. Feel that. Perfect. 30 seconds. Our next one we're gonna do is a band bicep curl. But these are foot curls, so I had a little twist to them. We're gonna do it for 30 seconds. We're gonna actually go into upward motion. We're gonna flip and do it reverse for 30 seconds. So, let's start like a regular bicep curl, feet, the distance part, and we're going up, and then right back down this way. So, try and hold your elbows close to your body. Try not to let them pass up your back. You don't want them too far back and not too far forward. Keep them here on the side and squeeze. Hold it at the top. Just like this. Just like that. Remember, keep the core in. Abs nice and tight the whole time. My shoulders are back. Perfect. 30 seconds. Now we're flipping. So here, elbows still stay in the same place, and I'm coming up. We're stripping that grip. Work the forearm a little bit. Feel a different part of the bicep burning. Just like this. Perfect. We're gonna keep this going for 30 seconds. Arms should feel pumped. I don't mind you. Stick with me for a few more seconds. Remember, keep those abs tight. Keep that chest up. Try not to let those elbows move while you curl. You're doing great. Perfect. All right. Now. We're gonna work a little bit of shoulders. So, what we're gonna do, again, we're standing on the band, and we're actually gonna do a lateral motion, going outward, and then we're bringing it forward. So, we're gonna come out this way, we're gonna bring it forward, and then right back down. So, hold out, bring it forward, right back down. 30 seconds, let's start the time. Go. Up. Up, hold it nice and tight, out forward, and down. So with this one, keep the shoulders pulled back and relax. That way you're not working too much of the trap muscle. There we go. Stick with me for a few more seconds. And then we'll raise it out, keep the chest forward. Stand it nice and tall. And that's it, 30 seconds. So for our last exercise, we'll actually set the band down. And this one, we're gonna do a squat and we're gonna do a leg lift with it, but we're gonna cross the body when we do it. So, I'd like to put my hands here behind the head. What we're gonna do, just a little wider than hip distance apart, we're gonna come down for the squat. When we come to the top, we're actually gonna lift and cross the body, bringing the knee to the elbow. So, let's do the same thing for both sides. So, we'll come down and then lift. We'll turn into a steady tempo. Let's go, 30 seconds. Just like that. Remember, keep the chest up nice and tall as you come down. We're trying to get our glutes past our knees. Nice, deep, good squat. We're gonna drive our heels through the floor with each one. 
squeeze the glutes at the bottom and abs are nice and tight the whole time. A few more seconds, stick with me. And 30 seconds, perfect. All right, if you really wanna challenge yourself, guys, go ahead, repeat this same circuit again and really push it. Other than that, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.